So I'm just taking a pneumatic grinder right there and cutting down the uh, bearing to get enough room to get the uh, to get the ball bearings out. Uh, that's the outer the outer uh, you know, outer race if you want to call it that. There's an outer race, an inner race, the ball bearings. Uh, but the point of doing this is I want to show you the spalling that's going on. It happens on all metal surfaces inside the ball bearing, inside the wheel bearing, I should say. It happens on the balls. It happens on the inner race and the outer race. So I'm just popping off the uh, ball bearings there and uh, getting those free and clear. Um, I want to get the grease out, grease off of them, I should say. So to do that, I just get some gasoline and a glass jar and I um, let it sit in there for a couple minutes and then uh, pull them out and dry them out. But that's the uh, that's the outer race you're looking at, and if you can see that, there's a spalling going on in there. It wasn't very bad uh, on the on the inside on the on the outer race, but on the inner race it was pretty bad, and on the ball bearings themselves it was pretty bad. The spalling was pretty bad. But uh, at the end of the video, I'll put a I'll put a I'll put another video that goes over it in detail, spalling and what's caused what's caused the cause for spalling. It's actually when water and grease mix, it creates an acid. That eats away at the metal. That's typically uh, why you see a wheel bearing fail. But uh, my glass jar just busted right there and pouring gas everywhere. Um, but it's all good because uh, I got the job done. It got all the grease off the bearing, off the yeah, off the ball bearings. So right here you can see uh, spalling taking place. It looks like somebody just peeled off the top metal, top layer of metal on the ball, and what's left behind is just uh, like a scab of metal. Almost, yeah. It's called spalling, caused by uh, water, grease, uh, forming an acid, and eating at the way, of, eating away at the metal. So, if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to Bunny's Garage. You can follow me on Twitter, and like always, I'll keep them rolling for you. Well, what about damage from contamination? Yeah, well, contamination is a little bit different, but that happens when foreign materials enter the bearing. Now, water and hard particles are the most common. The damage starts on the rolling contact surfaces and eventually leads to flaking and spalling. The condition is worse in grease applications because you can't get that contamination out of the grease. Now let's look at this large tapered roller bearing ring here that was sent to our Ann Arbor Technical Center for evaluation. Well, this is a classic example of water damage. Now when water and grease mix together, it forms an acid at all the metal to metal contacts in the bearing. So you see all of these small lines? Yeah. That's actually acid etching corrosion. So over time, what happens is, though this may not look like a lot of damage, it eventually turns into this large spall in the load zone. So how can this be avoided? Well, this type of failure can often be avoided by using the right seals and sealing techniques, by using the correct relubrication and maintenance intervals, and perhaps by making housing modifications to help water drainage.